Hey, it's Mero. So I have done a lot of looks with other eyes, um, extra eyes, places I shouldn't be. Totally acceptable look for day to day. And a couple of people, uh, acquaintances, friends, just people who liked what I was doing, um, have asked me to do my technique on it. I have done a couple of other looks with eyes, but I didn't really go into much detail. They were also really terribly lit. But hopefully this will give you an idea of how I get the detail. Without further ado, I will get into the video. Closer than anybody ever wants to be tomorrow. Um, I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to be using the Creolan Tory Brush Art uh, 4317. And yes, I know, Moreau, you have a problem, you're obsessed with Creolan. I know, I know, they're just so damn good at what they do. I can't help it. Uh, my entire life is made of Creolan, uh, if you haven't realised by now. And the MAC Full Coverage Foundation, mine looks really gross because I use it for absolutely everything. I lacquer my life in this stuff, and I'm perfectly okay with that. And it doesn't have to be perfectly white. As you know, your eyeballs are not perfectly white. They're also not perfectly round. Just kind of try and mimic your own eye shape. Because we have many wonderful, beautiful eye shapes out there. It always seems to be that way. We're never happy with what we have, but we always love what someone else has. So I've been trying recently to like myself and my appearance a little bit more. I have a uh, body dysmorphic disorder. A little bit of a, a heavy thing there. <laughs> but uh, what I, how I kind of deal with my problems, uh, my main problems are my nose, uh, my face in general. But yeah, my, my main problem, because I see it all the time, is a focus on my face. Um, I think a lot of the insecurity came from being bullied about it to start with. Um, and I know it sounds it sounds silly, someone in their 20s saying that bullying affected how they see their entire face, but honestly, I know people well in their 80s who still have something deep down from being bullied in school that affects them about their appearance or their mannerisms or just anything, anything that you could think that some idiot would bully you for. I feel like when you have that negative reinforcement about your appearance, because my nose is really squint and I'm perfectly, see? I'm totally open about that, like there's no way I can get away from the fact that it is, but just being reminded of it daily for 12 plus years of your life. <laughs> um, it, it wasn't exactly a positive reinforcement. I have come on leaps and bounds from where I once was uh, with regards to how I see myself. And honestly, makeup has helped me above and beyond. For me, it's been looking at my face objectively as opposed to subjectively. And it's like, oh, I'm looking at my face and it has this blue line on it and I'm more concerned about the blue line than something that's naturally quote unquote wrong with my face. And I now don't believe that there's something wrong with my face, so I've certainly come on a lot from there. That was with regard to, yeah, eye shape and uh, us not liking what we have. And you always hear that like, oh yeah, but everyone feels like that, like everyone has something they don't like about themselves, or everyone goes through feeling like that. And to people who say that, I kind of think, well, why do we have to? Why is it an important, an important rather, part of growing up? Which is not. It's not an important part of growing up. I'm just using body paint to make a circle for the areas. Uh, oh yeah, uh, this dumbass, frankly, decided um, I had to go and get my hair tested from my hairdresser to see if she can actually use the dye she plans on using. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna shave the sides of my hair anyway, so 
What better thing to do than to just cut it from the damn side? Not realizing, you know, this is a good few months, I'm gonna have to be going around with this. I sometimes look at myself and I'm like, how did the universe create such an absurd creature? But then the existential dread sets in and you know, we've all been there. Quietly awaiting the heat death of the universe. I'm adding a limbo ring here and blending it into the center pretty unevenly because, as you know, none of us have an equal amount of ring. Or rather, it's, it's never going to be exactly the same. You know, it doesn't have a repeating pattern. And I know I said that I'm going to be cutting the top of this off, but just for my own sanity, I like to do the whole thing anyway. With darker eyes, uh, like for example if you've got brown eyes or hazel eyes, it would be absolutely gorgeous to kind of do the reverse of this and add some lighter golden colours in the centre. Or just a rich, rich brown eye with lots of detail. Be beautiful. I've been having some audio issues lately. My condenser is kind of busted. It's very old and it has had a hell of a lot of use. Like, I've taken that thing everywhere. I didn't take it on tour, obviously, because uh, when, when I reckon I'm gonna have the time. But it has been used and abused in the studio quite a lot. So, I think it is time to retire it. So. Looks a little bit rough at the moment, but it won't. It will get darker, don't worry. And I'm using all body paint for this, by the way. Which I have used liquid lipsticks in the past which work surprisingly well. I'm gonna use a blue liquid lipstick to darken this up. Right, I found what I consider to be the perfect color, which is Abuse by Jeffree Star. Sometimes I have to balance my hand on my nose because I have the world's shakiest hand. Remember, there is always opportunity to tidy it up afterwards. That's it. If you mess it up, you're not stuck with it. You can just take it off. And trust me, I mess up frequently. The only reason I don't mess up in videos is because I have a written plan. Or a diagram, rather. And if I've got something that I can look at and be like, okay, I remember vaguely what you were planning, Moreau. then I'm less likely to completely screw the whole thing up. Also let your brush do the work for you. Don't try and be too controlling with it, because it's not going to work. Oh, for all of that, by the way, I used the Creoland Tory Brush 1 or 4301. This little one. And for other details, I use Max 210. I was using the Illamasqua Precision Gel Liner because, as we know, if it's not Creolan, it's going to be Illamasqua with me. I'm pretty, pretty predictable. In this light blue body paint, we're going to go in and just do little gentle, gentle strokes. Some all the way out some not all the way out, 
just be careful not to do what I just did and go a little bit over the line of your eyeball. used by a different star. But yeah, the layering of colour, I know it doesn't always work in makeup, but when I'm working with body paint, it tends to go my way. So you should have something that looks a little bit more like this. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that light blue. I'm not used to filming with anybody else in the house, so people are probably gonna think I'm insane. Up close, it might look a little bit funky, but from far away, Looks a little bit better. So for the people, as you know, I put a little bit of liquid lipstick on the bottom of the brush. And I dot it. And then you can really see it kind of comes together when you add the pupil. And you can round that out if you want. You can round that out if you want to, or going by the highlight that's on my own eyes, I'm going to add some light. And I'm doing this with the matte white foundation, just kind of dabbing it in. To me the highlight really makes it, it's the difference between it looking real and looking Fake. I'm gonna go into the Too Faced chocolate bar palette because it has a lot of kind of browns as I say that don't show up too pigmented. Uh, they're very light, I can do light washes of colour and I'm just gonna build up something that looks kind of like my eye. So here I'm just shooting into the actual eye itself, which I will make more grey in a minute. But as you can see by your own eyes, our eyes are not completely... They have shadows, um, because of course they're round and they're in a socket, so of course they have shadows. And using this kind of almost skin tone, for me anyway, um, it's obviously not going to be skin tone on everybody, using this kind of light beigey for any colour, um, it's a lot easier to make shadows. So I added some lashes and a little bit of shading around it. Anyway, uh, thank you for hanging out with me and watching me scribble on my face. Hopefully this will encourage you to scribble on your face too. If someone who's completely disorganized like me and who has also screwed it up a couple of times, even in this tutorial alone, can do it, you can do it too. Everyone can do it. It's, uh, yeah, put, put eyes on your face. Put more eyes on your face. That's all I can say. My only encouragement is put more eyes on your face. I hope you're having a great day or night, depending on where you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.